Dennis Hopeless, Jesus Marino, Eduardo Pansica, and Julio Ferreira send the Suicide Squad on one final mission as the team set their sights on Lex Luthor, intending on kidnapping the billionaire to fund their operation. Dennis Hopeless finishes out the run of Suicide Squad with a fun finale that finally gave the team a win, but also in classic Suicide Squad fashion, it's probably not the win they were looking for or thought it was going to be. I thoroughly enjoyed how much fun the book had with its kidnap Luther premise, giving us all these great and humorous attempts at dealing with the supervillain and they all just backfire. It was really satisfying to see the team get a much needed win though, but as I said it's not really the win they thought. But a win is a win for the Suicide Squad and I like that they take the hits and keep on going since that's been one of the overarching themes of this iteration of the Suicide Squad. The only problem I can think of is that this feels like it should have been a longer arc and was cut short because the book was ending. With the squad under Luther's control that would have been quite an interesting story arc and this felt like the setup to that. We could still see something of that but with Dark Crisis coming and a probable reset to the universe in the cards I don't think we'll be getting that which is kind of a bummer since I'd like to see where that would have gone. Jesus Marino, Eduardo Pansica, and Julio Ferrara deliver one final action-packed issue with some fun sequences for the squad to deal with, and some really fantastic looking double-page spreads filled with great detail and action, and a final double-page spread that gave the team the much-needed celebration they have been looking for, and it was just a nice page to see them actually get a win on. Suicide Squad issue 15 was a fun action packed field finale that let the team go out with a bang but also felt like it was the beginning of a larger story that we unfortunately probably won't get to see now that the book is finished. I'm going to give this issue an 8 out of 10. Suicide Squad issue 15 finds the squad all gathered, discussing how to kidnap or possibly kill Lex Luthor. Bloodsport screams over the top of everyone, demanding to know when are they taking his brothers home. Rick knows that once the job is done, they'll be taken home, but right now he's got an idea to keep them out of Bloodsport's hair for the time being. At Lex Corp, one of the brothers is hired as a janitor, using his access to let his other brothers in, all who are dressed exactly the same. Rick meanwhile enacts Plan A, sending Ambush Bug and one of the Match clones in to attack Lex Luthor, but Lex easily stops them with his anti-Kryptonian security message, but Ambush Bug teleports away before being caught, letting the clone get caught alone. Plan B is soon enacted as Lex meets with a congressman out on one of his yachts. Rick Flag and Bloodsport assault the boat but are captured by the boat's tentacle security measures as Lex finishes his deals. Plan C then involves Rodriguez ambushing Lex on a golf course sand trap, but again Luthor's security team managed to capture the sand woman in one of their machines. Later at the International Military and Defense Exhibit, Lex details a new armored assault vehicle, knowing that this one is a game changer and he doesn't put his name on anything less. Peacemaker and Ambush Bug teleport in, catching Lex, but the vehicle blasts them with sonic cannons, knocking them down as Lex apologizes to the people watching for not bringing any lethal ordnance. Later on at Lex Corp, Lex heads through his building, beginning to suspect something when he sees the same janitor throughout the building on different floors. He heads to the basement where all of the Suicide Squad are imprisoned, knowing that they all earned to die for coming at him like they did, but he doesn't want to kill them since he really wants to know what on earth possessed them to come for him. Rick explains that with Walla gone, they need money since they've been cut off from the government. Lex tells them that if they needed money, they could have just asked for a fund from him since a seasoned Black Ops kill crew made up of ex-supervillains is an intriguing investment. He knows though that he wouldn't hire that pack of losers since they couldn't even pull off a simple kidnapping. One of the janitors appears as Lex recognizes him as the one he saw just before when suddenly Calibra leaves the man's body, possessing Lex. With Lex possessed, the team are freed and head up to his office, laughing about their plans and how they all actually worked as Calibra finds that Lex is fighting for control of his body as they try and access his accounts. Calibra tells the team she needs a minute, heading off into the bathroom as Ambush Bug finds the spot where Lex stares off with Superman all the time. Mirror Master asks if Calibra is okay as she is thrown through the door by Lex who has gotten back control of his body and taken over a war suit. Mirror Master knows that it's time to leave having seen Lex fight Superman in that suit but it's too late as Lex grabs him slamming him into the ground. Lex always wondered why an all-powerful dimension hopper would name himself Mirror Master and he knows it's because he's a dimwit. Lex takes down Peacemaker finding him so ridiculous he is unworthy of commentary. Rodriguez soon attacks but he blasts a hole through her sand form comparing her to 
a gun who hasn't learned how to shoot yet. Bloodsport grabs a giant cannon, getting ready to fire Lex, but Lex takes him down, knowing that he's only slightly more competent than a pile of sand. Bloodsport hopes that he can kill him now as Flag knows that Lex is in position, getting Ambushbug to teleport in all of the match clones to rip apart Lex's warsuit. Luther clicks a button, capturing the Lex clones in his anti-Kryptonian security measures, but Rick has managed to get him at the end of his gun, knowing Lex was kidnapped by a pack of losers. Luther finds himself impressed, knowing that it would have been easier to rob Banks with one of the two teleporters they have. Still, he respects their hard-fought win, and know that's good for morale, wondering what his freedom will cost him. Rick hadn't thought that far ahead, and Lex finds that rather shrewd for having him negotiate his own ransom. He decides to make them an offer, and later, the team celebrate being fully funded, with Rick toasting with champagne to the team. Calibra offers her champagne to Peacemaker, being she can't drink it thanks to being a ghost, but the hero knows he needs to drive the tank bus home. As the team head off into the sunset, Lex keeps track of them, wondering if the Suicide Squad should be renamed to Task Force Lex. 